Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ for Rate, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Project Castaway. Project Castaway is a survival crafting game set in the Pacific Ocean. Sail the ocean, hunt, explore unique islands, and gather resources as you fight for survival. This game is on Steam, but it's not out yet. The release date says June of 2024. Um, you can request access to the game, though, and thank you to the developers for sending me a key. Let's get started. So we got a couple options here. We've got hardcore. Hardcore more results in permadeath. Hardcore more results in permadeath. Okay. Um, your save file will become unplayable. <laughs> We've also got survival here. Test your survival skills by managing your resources, crafting tools, and fending off threats from the wilderness. And you've also got challenge. Challenge mode offers a more structured and goal-oriented gameplay experience. I like structured and not so much goal-oriented, but I like having, like, tips and everything. But I can't not go for survival, right? I mean, that's my that's my bread and butter. That's what this channel is all about. It's my favorite genre. Uh, okay, so we need to head for this island right here. Um, when, I, when I did my test game, I wasn't sure which island I was supposed to be going for. But this is the island because you follow the little arrows at the top of the screen. And if you don't get close enough, you're going to have a long swim. Um, I didn't get close enough in my test game because I was going for the wrong island. And the swim took forever. Like, just ridiculously long swim. Uh, this one is a lot better. I mean, you may think I'm pretty close, but it's actually going to take a while to get there. Uh, it's it's a, it's pretty slow swimming uh, in this game, but it's not nearly as bad in my test game. I'll tell you, my test game, I was way out there. It took me forever to get in. Um, I, like I said, I did play a test game and, um, you know, just to get myself familiarized with the, the game concepts, it's, it's got a lot of, um, stranded deep in it, but it's also different in a lot of ways and it is super early access. I mean, you know, it's not even in early access technically. Uh, so if you are playing this version, just be, you know, be prepared for issues. So the game is going to tell me that, I don't know. That, yeah, I saw this is like a little, uh, med kit thing, but I don't know how to get it open. I might need the, I might need a key or something. All right, so we need to get some sticks off the ground. Um, one, one issue I did have in my test game was that it, it's kind of a dark game. It's it's pretty dark. Uh, so, and like, if you like set up on this side of the island, which I did in my test game, you're not gonna be able to see anything half the time. So I'm gonna set up, I've got an idea where I'm, where I'm gonna set up. This I guess it's not procedurally generated because this is the same exact spot I was at in my, my other game. So um, I kind of hope they add like randomized maps at some point, you know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so we open up uh, craft menu at B and we're going to craft a wooden spear. Uh, it's right here. There we go. It's going to fall on the ground. Whenever you craft something, it falls on the ground. Make sure you pick it up. There we go. Uh, we're going to chop a small palm tree. Yes, we're going to we're going to chop a small palm tree with the spear. So kind of weird. But like I said, um, super early access. <laughs> this is the early access of the early access. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pick all that stuff up. We're going to put that. Uh, do I want to make my bed? I, I'm trying to think of where I want to put my bed. I'm going to put my bed over here, kind of in the woods a little bit. Because I don't think I want to be sleeping out. Out there. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go ahead and drop this stuff right here. We have to drink a coconut. So we're going to press tab. And this is our bag. See, it's a little dark. I'm going to come out where you guys can actually see properly. So there's our bag. All right, pretty cool bag. I like the inventory setup. It's very uh, immersive. And there we go. So we just hold down E to eat that and drink it. And we get some food back. All right, so now we need to build a palm bed. So I believe that is right here. And we'll put that in here somewhere. Uh, it seems like a pretty good spot for it, I guess. All right. So now we just got to pick up the palm stuff we dropped all over the ground. <laughs> I had a little trouble finding it, but that's all right. And then we're going to go ahead and build this. We need a little bit more. Let's try and break out some stuff that's going to be kind of in our way. All right. Yeah, this game seems pretty dope, man. It really does. I can't wait to see what they do with it. I hope they uh, I hope they find some success in people being interested in it because it seems like a pretty good start. Uh, you, never, you never can tell with these early access games, but, you know, so far so good. I've seen much worse starts than this. Uh, palm bed. Add material. Wait, is this not what I'm supposed to add? Hold on. What is that? Uh, does it say what I'm looking at? It does not. R. There we go. It's weird. I couldn't... Eh, I don't know. Whatever. I got it now. All right. So now you can kind of you kind of lay down and you can sleep and you can save the game. So there we go. We're going to save the game right there. Can I name it? I cannot. 
that's okay and back and make sure it's still there it is and we save the game save the game right away guys i'm telling you this game is unforgiving i don't want to tell you what happened in my uh in my test game but it didn't it didn't go well <laughs> so i'm just gonna just gonna say that so right there is the end of the help i don't get any more help so it is what it is now one of the things we're gonna need is cloth and if you're ever wondering if you can break something uh, if you walk up to it, it's got that little tool thing in, in above it, and that means you can break it. So I'm going to go ahead and break this. There is durability. Um, durability goes down pretty fast, unfortunately, but there we go. We got some rope and some cloth. That's beautiful. That's really good stuff right there. So let's see what I want to make next. I think the next thing I would like to make is an axe. There we go. So we're going to need stone shards, rope, and sticks. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up sticks anytime we see them. Uh, stones are a little bit more challenging. Because you can't put stones in your backpack, but you can just break them up into the, the stone shards you need. But you're also going to need five for the campfire. I mean, I guess you can make like a regular campfire, but I like to make the good campfire. So um, I will need the stone for the for the campfire. And I'm not seeing any stone around here. I know there's... Oh, there's one. All right. So the way you get the stone shards, you pick up the stone, F to smash, and then pick up the shards. And now we can make ourselves a stone axe. Don't forget it falls on the ground. There we go. Beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to work on a campfire now. And I don't think I want the campfire like in the woods, although I kind of want it by my bed. I don't think it really matters in the game, but yeah, I don't know. I'll just I'll just make it over here. Why not? I don't see the reason not to. So what we need to do now is we need to go around and fi find a bunch of stone. I oops, I just threw up my spear. Yep. Okay, you got to be careful with that. G throws stuff out and then like You'll go to hold your the, the item you are holding before you pick those items up. And if you spam G, it's going to throw things throw things out that you don't want thrown out. Got some stone right here. Um, I tend to find stone more in the open areas. Or maybe that's, maybe that's just the only place I can see them. But I, I haven't found much stone in the uh, interior part of the island. Um, yes, there are enemies in the game. And yes, they are dangerous. Just That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. All right, where's this bed? Maybe I shouldn't have built in the woods because I can never find my freaking bed. Now it's dark in here. Uh, there it is. Okay. All right, one more stone should be good. And we might even have enough sticks for the fire. You need like eight sticks to put into the fire. So just to like, you know, light it. Um, I haven't messed, I haven't lit a fire yet. So something bad happened to me and I, I never got to that point. See, it's like kind of dark. It feels way too dark. The only, the only, well, it's not the only issue, but it's a, it's a main issue I think the game right now. It's just, it feels way too dark in a lot of different places. And I feel like being on a tropical island, there wouldn't be much dark, darkness. At least not when the sun's up and the sun is up. Uh, it is casting shadows, but they seem a little bit harsh on how much darkness they give you. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a fire. Go, and I guess I'll just make it right there. I don't know, whatever. Can I get? I don't think I can get rid of those bushes, but maybe I shouldn't make it there. You know what? The fact that I can't get rid of those bushes is going to annoy me, so I'll just make it out here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put the sticks in there. Then we got to get the stones, and yeah, see with with all the like plant life up here, it's kind of hard to see anything. You can build in this game. You can build like proper bases and everything. And honestly, it really doesn't look overly expensive. Um, but the thing is, like, I don't think building a base really would be wise right away because you're gonna I think you're gonna run out of materials. I can't even see the stone I brought up here. Alright, whatever. Uh the thing is, you're gonna run out of materials, and you're I think you almost have to use them like what you're building uh to make a raft because you wanna like, you know, go out there and get more materials from different places. And I'm just going to say, right, you know, right off the bat, if you go out there without, if you go swimming, <laughs> uh, you do that at your own risk. Because um, if you go, if you just got swimming in there, you're probably not going to come back. There we go. And beautiful. Add sticks. Five left. Three left. Hey, the other one said eight sticks. That's weird. Okay. Well, I'm not going to light that fire because it really doesn't matter. Uh, right now, I don't have anything to cook. I should probably find some stuff to cook. There is some stuff I can kill. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. 
get used to this. I'm going to be saving often. Wait. Hmm. 3.57 p.m. Is that real life time? I think that's real life time. I don't know if it just saved or not. Yeah, it did. It did. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't really give you much of an indication that it's saved except for the time. Uh, I'm assuming it means real life time, not game time. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I kind of want to swim out to that <laughs> to that rack. I know I just said I shouldn't, but I kind of want to. Not going to lie. Uh, I will hold off on that impulse. Let's come up in here and see what's going on over here. Oh, okay. I'm looking for stuff to loot. I don't know if there's anything on the inside of the island to loot. One negative part of this game is you can't pause. Look, you can't pause as far as I know, unless there's some other way to pause. But if I hit escape, it doesn't pause. And I'm not a fan of not being able to pause. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I could probably get to that boat without getting killed. Right? Oh, that's the same boat. Oh, I didn't. Man, it looks pretty close. Now, let's let's explore the island first. We'll go for that next time. Um, go. No. I don't want to bring rocks with me because then they, they, they fill up my hands. I can't do anything. But I'll make a mental note of where they are. Let me go ahead and eat some of these. Eat. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's my buddy. This is the guy that ended my last game. So I wonder if he's on this side of the island. Maybe I should just stay away from this side of the island. Not really sure. Yep, there I go. I <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, load. Let's see if that game's saved properly. Like I said, it looked like it saved. I'm, I'm guessing it means real life time. But we gotta see. All right. uh, everything looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it saved properly. Yeah, it did save properly. All right, let's stay away from that side of the island, I guess. I don't know, like... I don't know what else there is to do with that guy. Um, maybe I should just rush him and try and kill him. I don't know. Maybe we'll go right. Let's go right this time. Oh, whatever. You saved the game. If you re if you have to reload, it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of frustrating. Like, I don't think... I don't know what I'm supposed to do against him. Like, maybe next time I'll try backing up while stabbing him. Am I supposed to be able to kill him? I don't know. Doesn't feel like I'd be able to kill him, right? He's over here. What's going on over here? Oh. Oh. Oh, is that kelp? Seaweed. I can eat that, right? Where is it? Uh, don't tell SpongeBob. This is. Okay, I guess I can't eat it. Maybe it's used for something else. Uh, I'm not seeing anything over here. I would, I would think seaweed you could just eat. I'm pretty sure I saw Survivor Man. Just pull seaweed out of the sea and just eat it. I don't know. Could be wrong. Yeah, let's explore a little bit more dangerously. And if he kills me again, then I'll just kind of stay away from the side of the island. Um, but I got to be honest, like, I can't come on the side of the island. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do because I need more cloth uh, to make rope. And I need to find some more stuff to loot. Oh, here we go. Nothing? Really? Aw. No fair. He tend to... You know, I noticed the past couple of times he's attacked me when I've been in my inventory... I wonder if it's like um, in Green Hell where he kind of stalks you and then when you get distracted, he jumps on you. I don't know. Maybe I just won't go into my inventory. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. All right, let's look around a little bit more. Not really seeing anything of interest up here. Although, like, like I said, the game's kind of dark, so I could probably miss something pretty easily. Oh, a turtle. I need turtles. My spear's gonna break before this guy ever gets killed. Come on. I can't see anything. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Where is he? What? Okay. Guess I'm just gonna ignore him and get the turtle. I just heard a... a yeah, there he is. There you are, you bugger. I'm gonna try and joust a little bit. My spear's gonna... Well, maybe not. Oh, you can joust him. You see that? I dodged the attack. Okay. 
Oh boy. He's running. He's running. Come on. I got no stamina. I know I need something to eat. I'm working on it. Come on. You know, I didn't think to try and throw the spear. I'm not going to try it right now, though. Oh, oh, I got him. Yes, you can throw the spear. Okay. Dude, that's amazing. So you can dodge his attacks. Can I pick up the bones or no? I guess not. That's weird. I can't pick up the bones. Now, I wanted the turtle because one of the other things I need to make, I need a turtle for. But you know what? I'm going to consider that a win. I'm, I'm actually really surprised I got him. I didn't, I didn't think I had a chance. There's only one, right? Please tell me there's only one. Let's get back and save. Yeah, I'm really hoping there's only one. I'm starving. So, got some real... I know I have some... I know I have some... I always want to call them cantaloupes. <laughs> I know I have some coconuts, but I'm trying to save those for when I'm thirsty. Because I can hunt for food. I Like, once those, once those coconuts are out, it's over. I really hope there's only one. Gotta make sure I get another turtle. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to get a turtle soon. Somewhat soon. So I'm just going to cook up this meat right now. So start fire. Um, tap F to quickly start the fire. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, here we go. I'm using my right hand now on the F key. Yeah! All right, so how do I put stuff here? Do I have to actually hold it? Here's the meat. I can't see my bag. Even with a fire, I barely... Okay, delicious meat. Can I just hold it? There we go. Okay, hold on. And hold that. And there we go. Now we have to make sure it doesn't burn. Oh, cool. It's, it's telling me exactly how long it takes. Awesome. It doesn't even look like it's going to take that long. Awesome. Okay, great. Can I put this out? Can't hold more sticks. 14 minutes. Campfire. R. Okay. I don't think you can put the campfire out. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Let's see how... Yeah. You have your back to the sun. I right, eat. Eat. Did I just eat both of them? It didn't look like I ate the first one. I think I did, though. Because my food's still going up. Okay, yeah, I ate them both, because I, I probably shouldn't have eaten them both now that I think about it. No, actually, perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's save the game. So let's see what time it is in real life. Uh, 4.06. Very good. All right, cool. Starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. Let's go ahead and get up. Uh, what is next on the agenda? I think, honestly, we should start working on a raft. Like, no joke. We got fire... Uh, let's go ahead and see. So we need the raft base. Um, can I build this here? Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Alright, three, um... Oh, you could... Oh! Alright, let's just make one for now. Um, cancel. And let's get our trusty axe. Um, just so you know, when you cut down trees, you can turn the logs into long sticks and the long sticks into regular sticks. You just gotta just keep beating them. Beat them like they owe you money. One. Two. Uh, only two? Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, add material. One more. Looks like there is a lot of trees on this island, which is nice. So that's good. Oh, maybe I didn't need to build a raft right. I want to build a raft right away. I want to be. I want to have mobility, uh, and then we'll build a base. I don't see any reason to build a base right now, to be honest. Ugh, why? Why did you do that? Is there anything I could do about that? Okay, not really sure, but let's let's see if we could build something. Oh, you know what? It probably doesn't matter which side it's on. It's weird. I can't move it though. Like I figured I could like pull down the right mouse button and kind of move it. There we go. All right. So what would be next on our raft? So that's the base. We've got... Uh, we need a small raft sail. We need three cloth. That's going to be impossible. I don't have what... It, I don't have it. Um, you build it and then attach it? Or... The reason I couldn't attach a sail to the raft is because the raft was upside down. When I built it, the raft flipped over. 
Um, I don't know of any way to flip it back. I don't know if there's a way to do it. I just don't know how or you can't do it. It's still early access. Um, so what I did was I reloaded the game. Always save, especially in these early access games. Save, save often, save smart. So I reloaded the game. I built the raft another three times. It flipped over every single time. And then this last time it worked. Now I went ahead and made a motor here. Uh, just so you know, the motor only takes one metal sheet. And the metal sheet is always on this island right there. Right in front of those rocks up there. So I grabbed the metal sheet, made the motor, but I don't know how to use it or even if you can use it. It's just, I'm not sure. Maybe it has to be in the water. Here, let's push it in the water and see if it does anything. Because this should be, you shouldn't need a rudder or a, or a sail if you have this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it does anything. We're going to reload the game anyway, so it doesn't really, oh, oh no. No, why? There you go. Okay, just get out there. It looks like it's sinking. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's kind of playing. Let's see what's going on. All right. Oh, hold, hold the climb on. And what about now? Oh, there we go. Wait, but we're supposed to be able to turn it. That comes with the... Oh, it doesn't come with a rudder, I guess. Oh, maybe we can make the boat... Normally, these things will have a rudder. So it's kind of weird that I can't... <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird that I can't steer it. I feel like I'm missing something. But, yeah. Doesn't seem like you can steer it. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to work with the... I'm going to work with the sail and the rudder for the time being. And maybe we'll mess around with the engine in a future episode. So let's go ahead and reload from our last save. And then we are going to put the... See, the thing is, the, the engine I could do right now... Maybe... Maybe I should try and make it bigger. Because here's the thing. I don't have enough cloth to make the sail. So let me... I'm going to try. I'm going to try. We can always reload if we don't like it. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to make this thing bigger. And I'm going to put a... I'm going to put a rudder and an engine on it. And see how that works. Because if I could save the, the cloth... The cloth is not easy to get. I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to go swim with the sharks to get that cloth. And I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. So if I could avoid that... That would be wonderful. We're going to test the game. We're going to see what's up and see how it works. Because why not? Uh, this game's got a really solid base. Um, I hope the developers can can really dig into it and get it where it needs to be. Because, um, yeah, it's got a really solid base. Game seems really cool. Where did the rest of the logs go? All right. I don't know. I guess I don't care. I'll just chop down another tree. Not a big deal. Please tell me this thing is not going to flip when I finish it. Please do not flip. I feel like the logs are in the trees or something. It was weird. Um, please don't flip. Please don't flip. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Fingers crossed. Not gonna flip. Come on. I like I like when you could point the way you want the trees to fall. Like sometimes you like you're looking in a direction you think they're gonna fall that way and they just don't. Please don't flip. All right, cool. So now that it didn't flip, let's go ahead and put on the boat motor on one side. Oh, that's right. It's in the back. Boat motor on one side. And let's put the raft rudder. I, again, these like these engines, I could have swear they always come with a rudder, but I, I, I don't know. I guess not. So right here is that metal sheet for the motor I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and grab that and let's see how this works. If it doesn't work. I'm going to have to go swimming out to that wreck over there looking for more cloth. Dodging sharks the whole way. Um, I thought I had four sticks. What the heck? Dude, I literally picked up sticks. Oh, does it have to be large sticks? Okay. All right. I see what you got going on there. So basically, you take a log and you beat it until it turns into long sticks or large sticks. Okay, cool. Please give me four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Cool. So if this goes, if this goes where I think it's going to go, it could be pretty cool. If not, you know, we'll have to adjust. So we need to point this out here. It's got to be like in the water. Like if you kind of like... Oh, no, no, no. Got to be careful. Yeah, you got to kind of push it out like this. If it's not in the water, the, the, the engine won't do anything. Okay. Really sure how this is supposed to work. Um, press E. Press E. Okay. I have no idea how to aim this thing. <laughs> Uh, I press C and it just goes in like random directions. Alright, there we go. 
We're gonna aim towards that. Now go forward. Okay. Yeah, this is working. This is working. It's working! I just don't know how this thing works. Like this, um, this rudder. If I look at it and it goes that way, it goes that way. Okay. So it looks like the rudder is like left, right, or center. If you click it, it's gonna go that way, that way, and then this way. Yep, okay. That's the way it works. Oh, there we go. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually very weird. <laughs> but it's getting the job done, and I think this is the best way to build the raft. Maybe the sail would be faster. I don't know. It'd be pretty weird for a sail to be faster than a, a boat engine. Uh, but, you know, that's where we are now. And why, why would they give us a boat engine so quickly? Because it's an early access, and they're probably going to lock this thing behind tech and everything or you know maybe gas will be a problem and stuff like that uh but yeah the fact that i didn't have to do the cloth for the sale is awesome and um yeah it's working out pretty well so we're just gonna stay uh actually we're gonna go this way nope nope the problem is when you move this it it moves the boat but not you so it's not you can't really hit it properly again the second time all right, there we go. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, get out of the water. Yeah, there is sharks around here, by the way. I don't remember how I got up here. Come on, come on. Uh, yep, this way. Out of the freaking water, there you go. All right, I did it. No, don't go in the water, Barrel. Don't go in the water, please. Uh, I don't want to break my spear. Here we go. Now this is what we're here for. And there you go. More rope, more cloth. Looks like somebody fell in the water. I don't know. Uh, let's go over here. Oh yeah, lots of stuff on here. Actually, maybe I will break the spear. It's not like I'm going to kill a shark with this, with this spear anyway. If I'm going to be honest. Oh yeah, a lot of stuff up here. Okay, this is where you want to go. And honestly, I think the way I got here was the best way. I think you're meant to kind of swim here. I don't think they mean for you to avoid making the sail, so. All right, All right. very good. Very good. Kind of weird not seeing any sharks, though. Gonna come down in here. I don't know if you, there's anything to get underwater. I'm not really seeing anything obvious. So I think it's time to go back. Back to camp. And E, hold E. All right, cool. Now we go this way. No, this way. Start this up. Aim towards our spot. And I guess you could stop the engine and do that like rudder. Uh, it'd be a little bit easier to do it that way. But yeah, I mean, I think this has been a pretty successful episode one, man. I'm very happy, very happy. Um, and I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to play more. Like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. And if you're new here, maybe you want to subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.